Student loan debt is crippling our economy, and we're not hearing enough about it or doing anything about it. That's the topic of today's No Filter. Recently, the Education Department released new figures indicating that more students than ever are defaulting on their student loan debt. In fact, just to give you some of those numbers right now, 1 in 10 recent borrowers defaulted on their federal student loans within the first two years. That's the highest default rate since 1995. And of course, part of the problem is more students are taking out higher loans or more expensive loans, and there aren't enough jobs for them to be employed or gainfully employed. Those who do find jobs often are underemployed and it's become a really big problem because it cripples our economy in the sense that these millennials do not have the proper funds to go out there and buy a car or put a down payment on a home. So while we see all of these figures about the housing market and how it's improving, the reality is millennials aren't buying those homes, the middle class aren't buying those homes, the people buying those homes are actually the banks and these small companies that purchase them and then they flip them and if they're lucky, find renters if they can't sell them. Another issue that we're seeing is about $52 billion in student loans that had been current became delinquent in the first half of the year and the highest uh, first half total recorded since 2003, which means that this problem just keeps getting worse and worse and there's really no end in sight. So what's the real issue here? Obviously one issue is we continuously defund public education uh, and I'm talking specifically about higher education. Many state schools that used to be affordable for students are now inaccessible because they're so expensive. When I was going to a state university, it cost me about $3,500 a year to go there. Now it's well over $6,000 a year, and that might not sound like a lot, but that's on the lower end of the scale. When you look at other schools, when you're going to an out-of-state university, the cost is much higher. We're talking about $20,000 a year. And the median weekly wages for holders of bachelor's degrees have actually fallen by 4.8% over the last 10 years. Weekly paychecks for college degree holders over the age of 25 are also down 3%. So they're taking out these loans and they're making less money. So what do we need to do about this? We have to stop defunding public education and these universities need to stop competing with one another. The reason why tuition is increasing on these campuses is because they want to see more uh, alluring to students, so they build new buildings, they I expand their athletics departments, and they create all of these programs that the university doesn't necessarily need, but they think that this will help them when it comes to ranking on U.S. News and World Report. That's a really big problem. We need to find a way to make education affordable and accessible for people who choose to use it. And another thing that we need to do is really sit students down and make them realize that Putting money into your education is an investment. Putting money into a program like women's studies or Pan-African studies or whatever, Asian studies or other liberal arts is not necessarily going to be a smart investment, especially if you are planning on graduating and finding work in that field. So it's good to counsel these students so they know what they're getting themselves into and not brainwash them with this propaganda that makes them believe that if they get a college degree, they're going to graduate and they're going to make hundreds of thousands of dollars immediately. That's not what the reality is, and as I said, it is crippling the economy. We have to find a way to help millennials and people that are going into college right now so they know exactly what they're getting into, and we need to create a system that is as affordable as it used to be. State schools used to be affordable. They used to be options for people like me who didn't want to spend the money for a private institution.